Hello, this is uh, Silvia Pavoni, Investment Editor of the Bank, reporting from the Inter-American Development Bank meeting in uh, Montevideo, Uruguay. And I'm talking to Pablo Goldberg, who is the Head of Global Emerging Markets Research for HSBC. Pablo, um, uh, you've just uh, had uh, a big um, events uh, organized by HSBC, where uh, government officials from various countries within Latin America presented to a group of investors. What, what were the main issues that were raised during this event? Well, I think investors were very much focused in terms of how Latin America is dealing with some of the uh, headwinds presented by the global, the global economy, being this, the crisis in the Eurozone, uh, the increase in oil prices, and at the same time to try to get a better sense of uh, how policymakers are reading these headwinds and what are the kind of policy reactions that they're putting in place to, uh, to deal with the effects of these headwinds. What were the, the main specific concerns that uh, this group of people raised today? I think there's two things. The first, of, the first one is um, how much policymakers continue to be focused on growth rather than on inflation. Uh, and second is what are uh, policymakers doing uh, to, try to, uh, to try to deal with the massive amount of capital inflows that emerging markets are now facing. And this has very important implications in terms of monetary policy, fiscal policy, Effects intervention. And what are your uh, specific views on, on this? Well, I, I think that clearly uh, the region continues to very much focus on growth. And this is what you hear from policymakers when you talk to them. Uh, everybody is very much relieved uh, to see actually that Europe is avoiding a financial accident, that the US is presenting better economic data. Uh, and so policymakers are in general quite uh, comfortable with the projection for growth for the rest of the year and a growth that will, you know, has been slowing down in the last quarter of 2012, probably will have a slow start of 2011, but it will strengthen going forward. First thing. Uh, second thing is um, that policymakers are uh, concerned about the appreciation of the currencies in those places where currencies uh, are appreciating very fast. Uh, cases like Brazil, cases like Colombia, they're going to continue to be actions to try to prevent these currencies from appreciating. This is because growth continues to be the main driving force in terms of policy making. Uh, and um, the reaction in terms of inflation and monetary policy varies across countries. Different countries are taking different approaches, different countries having different kind of inflation pressures. In the case of Brazil, we um, are still having uh, strong inflation pressures, and there I think the policymakers are in a process of continuous of easing policy, uh, hoping that what they have done uh, in terms of the fiscal, in terms of uh, the fiscal policy, uh, what they have done in terms of the previous monetary adjustment will lead to a slow deceleration of inflation pressures. Uh, countries like uh, Uruguay, trying to understand a little bit better what is the best way to deal against inflation, the, is increasing in interest rate. It is letting the currency appreciate somewhat. Uh, in the case of Colombia, for example, already having increased interest rate twice. In the case of Chile, becoming more neutral, having a potential stop, the easing cycle. So each country here is in a little different uh, point in the inflation cycle. Um, something that um, I've noticed uh, by participating to this event is that there seems to be um, a different level of acceptance towards uh, different policies and uh, how to tackle uh, the, the economic challenge of, of, of this uh, moment in time. And one of them uh, seems to be that protectionism uh, um, is somehow more accepted as a way of uh, dealing with macroeconomic issues. Is the, and, and I get this by talking to uh, some of your peers here. Uh, is this something that you agree with? I want to say that protectionism from the point of view of the current account is so much as widely accepted. I mean, not many countries are following that way. I think it's much more protectionism on the capital account in the sense of like, interesting enough, in some cases, not letting foreign investors come into domestic markets uh, through different kind of measures. In Brazil, we have the IOF. Uh, in Colombia, we have withholding tax that changes the economics of the returns of the Colombian uh, markets with respect to other markets. Um, and goes back to the same point, it goes back about currency appreciation and defending jobs internally. Uh, it, it is um, only a few countries where we start to see uh, restrictions on the current account in a much more aggressive way, and, and, and one where this is quite aggressive is in the case of Argentina. Uh, a little bit of a, of, a, of a unique case in terms of how aggressive Argentina has become in, uh, in protectionism on the current and capital account at the same time, 
But I don't think that in general we've seen a major move towards protectionism on the current account. In fact, many of these countries continue to sign free trade agreements with other countries. Uh, and they continue to try to think about more measures to uh, increase competitiveness rather than to close the borders. Finally, what kind of mood have you picked up by participating to this year's event? Well, I think people are very comfortable with, with emerging markets in general. I mean, most of the, and this is not necessarily from these meetings, but from my recent talks with investors, is that investors are seeing inflows. They're managing more money. And uh, their mandate is to put this money to play. So they're trying to be aware of the risks. Uh, they're trying to be, if you want, selective in terms of which kind of uh, uh, markets or countries they go to. But in general, uh, and having gone through many of these events throughout the last 15 years, I would say that this is one of the moments where investors feel, I would say, the more relaxed, particularly in the last two or three years uh, that we're coming from, you know, the bad uh, the days of 2008, 2009. Uh, last year, fourth quarter was a very tough quarter. Uh, the, the, the chances of a crisis in Europe was much, much more in the forefront. Uh, I think here people are just relaxing a little bit more. We just to be want to be um, aware of what you know risks are lying in a world that continues to be a world of plenty of liquidity. Thank you very much for your comments. My pleasure.